planner friends. I just want to unbox this product from Aura Estelle. I've been kind of nervous about it showing up because there is a potential for me to hate this. <laughs> so I just kind of want to get this unboxed and put myself out of uh, my misery. I thought this was kind of an interesting uh, product that is a little different than what I usually see. So let's open it up. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is actually really cute. <laughs> okay, this is a Shearling Hobonichi Weeks cover. So, Yes, it is fuzzy. So this is kind of a weird thing, I think, to release in the springtime. Because this makes me think of winter and coziness and snow. But whatever. Um, I just wanted to pick one up and try it out. They did have one. They actually have several co colors. I think there's like uh, four for sure. So the one I really liked was the cream color. And um, it's just that I knew that it wasn't going to stay clean. I just don't want to have to put this in a bag all the time when I'm taking it somewhere. You know, like a planner bag or a planner pouch to keep it clean. So I decided to get this one. It's called Teddy Bear. So it's like kind of a light brown. <clears throat> so let's open it up and see what's inside. So on the outside, it's nice and fuzzy. It's got this snap that says Aura Estelle. It's heart-shaped, silver. There are two poppers here. So if your planner gets fat, but with this fuzziness, I'm gonna say right off the bat, you gotta put a little work into getting that. Yeah, there we go. You gotta put a little work into getting that snapped because there's so much fuzziness around here. Okay, and you open it up. So this reminded me a little bit of the Sicily, if you recall, or Estelle had a week's cover called the Sicily, which is still pretty popular today. People will buy these on buy, sell, trade if they pop up. And the prices are actually pretty high for a planner cover that's been out for years. But I like the fact that it had the zipper on the edge. So you can put stickers or change in there. If you want to use this as a wallet, changes can go in there just fine. <clears throat> and um, it's got a little tiny secretarial pocket with the fuzzy shearling on the outside. It's got card pockets, so you got six card pockets. You got this slip pocket markers with round leather dots. And then you have this um, tab here, which I'm not understanding how it's not on both sides. What do you hook it to? I thought this was so you could string strings up to here for TNs. And I'm drawing a blank as to how you hook them because there's not one at the top. So I'm gonna have to look into that. I don't think that I would even put strings in here. That's not, you know, I usually don't have strings in my Hobonichi Weeks covers, but it seems really odd to me. Like, what would you hook those to? Anyway, <clears throat> so you have two, two bookmarkers and then you have this slip pocket where you would put, you know, the back cover of your weeks. You could put the front cover in here. 
I personally always like to leave the front cover of my weeks out. I will only put the back cover in. This is Aura Estelle in silver. It's got a little pen loop here. It's elastic, but it is it does have the shearling on the outside. And here we have, um, this is interesting. You can, I'll probably take this out because I'm not gonna use it as a purse. But this is so you can buy a chain and hook a chain to it and like carry it as a bag, like a shoulder bag. So you could, I think they sell purse straps for it. So like you could hook your purse strap to these D-rings and carry it like a little purse, but I won't do that. So I'll take this out. <clears throat> so let's see what the weeks looks like in there. I've been using this Moterm in Plum. I really like it. Oh, I should mention, there is a little bit of a loop here in case you wanna attach a charm, which is kind of a cute idea. Um, I like that. <clears throat> okay, so personally, I would not use these. Matter of fact, I will tuck those back in there because they'll get on my nerves. Oh, that's so cute. Now, I think this would look better if it was fuller because look at how much room there is. So obviously, if you are the kind that wants to put in this elastic and put in some extra inserts, or if you have a mega weeks, or if you carry two weeks with you and you really have this stuffed full, I think it would look cuter. I don't have another weeks. Oh, actually I do. So this is my weeks from last year. So let's see if if I had two weeks in here. Yeah, that's still go on the first button and it fits just fine. So if you carry two weeks with you, and this is two regular weeks right here. I think you'd have to, now this is a mega, you would have to use the other setting on the popper to put the mega in there. I don't think you could get two megas in there, but I have a regular in here and a mega in here right now. And it works. So, there you go. Um, I think it's cute. I think it's, like I said, I think it, it's more of a winter thing to me. So, I probably won't use this a ton before it's springtime you know it's like almost spring there's not much of winter left so i'll probably only use this maybe a couple of weeks at the most and then i'm gonna put it away until next winter but all in all i i'm pretty happy with it i don't think it's horrible it does remind me a little bit of carpet that you'd see in a car i don't know <laughs> It's just like really short carpet in my opinion, but I know it's not exactly like that. Shearling is a little bit different. So it's it's actually pretty cute. I like it. This is in teddy bear, so I almost feel like I want to put like a little teddy bear magnet or something in here. I don't think I have one that looks like a teddy bear. I have a panda bear. <laughs> I don't think that's quite the same. So anyway. Yeah, I will keep it. I'm not going to sell this. Uh, I feel like this is a nice addition to my collection. And it's a neutral enough color. I can use it many years. And again, I really like this side pocket for stickers and stuff. And I could potentially use this as a wallet. So let's check out the pen loop. And then I think that's about it. This is a friction. Ugh, I can't get it in there. Ugh. 
yeah, there's this rubber part on the friction down at the bottom. So that was a little bit hard. But yeah, that's fine. That's a good spot for the pen loop. Here's a better pen. It slides in much easier. There's no rubber part on there. So I think that would work out pretty good actually. Or let's try out my Retro 51 pen. There. So you can get a variety of pens in there. I see there's a string already here. Oh my, I feel like this is not going to hold together. Hmm. I'm just going to snip that and hope it doesn't unravel. Okay. All right. So hopefully the pen loop doesn't fall off now. But anyway, that's it. And uh, if you guys have any idea how those strings are supposed to attach at the top, so you're supposed to be able to string this elastic to put in inserts under the elastic like a TN. So I have no idea what you're supposed to attach it to at the top. I assume there should be one more at the top. So I'll have to look into that. But until then, thanks for joining me. I'm probably going to do a flip of my weeks next because it seems to be the planner that I gravitate back to. And I've never really done a flip of it this year. So I'll probably do that this weekend and get that up sometime. So until then, see you next time. Bye.